And boom, done. Poof. Hello everyone, my name is King Kong Veal, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to work to beginning my reign here in Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Uh, so in this game, you start out as basically a peasant and uh, work your way up through being a mercenary, a vassal, and then a uh, king. One thing I really like about this game is the uh, battle system, the combat system. It's medieval Total War-ish, uh, where you can actually control the troops a little bit, and I, I think it's a lot of fun. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the game. So I'm going to start a new campaign. I've played this game quite a bit, but I've never actually completed the campaign. So I'm looking forward to trying to do that today. For 500 years, the Calradian Empire dominated the continent. Its armies scattered foes before them. The strongholds of proud tribes crumbled beneath its engines of war. From the forests of the north to the wastes of the south. All was brought beneath the standard of their legions. Brutal as the conquest was, the wise agreed that it brought peace. The land, now untroubled by armies, grew rich. But empires, like men, grow old. Leaders lose a common cause. Corruption spreads. Old enemies learn the Empire's tricks and devise new ones of their own. Until one day, the bonds holding the Empire snap. Then comes the Civil War, pitting all against all. A time of hatred. A time of suffering. But also, even in the worst hours, a time of courage and defiance. As new leaders arise, from new places and new peoples, to turn back the tides of destruction and bring forth a new world from the ashes of the old. All right, so that sets the stage for this game. Uh, so I have an option of choosing between uh, six different cultures. Um, each of them have uh, their own benefits, but I think I'm actually going to go with the Batanians in this playthrough. I'll try some of the others later. I've played most of them, uh, at least to, to a bit, um, but the Batanians are, uh, are my favorites. So I'll go ahead and go through this character creation, and uh, I'll uh, come back to you when uh when i have my character all made the way i want it <laughs> all right i think that's the way i'm gonna have my character yeah looks pretty uh pretty terrifying to me <laughs> but that's what i'm going for you know, a terrifying wildling a terrifying uh battalion all right so now I gotta do the backstory, and all this will determine my starting stats. Alright, so I can be a member of the Chieftain's Hearth Guard, a healer, which will be nice, but I think I'm gonna go with the healer. I think I'm, 
Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll just do this and I'm not going to be able to min-max it because I'm not smart enough to know how to do that. So we'll just go with some things. Alright, as a child, I was noted for my leadership, my brawn, my attention to detail, aptitude for numbers, uh, my way with people, my skill with horses. Might go with my way with people. Alright. Like all village in the village children, I helped out in the fields. I also herded sheep. Worked in this village smithy. Repaired objects. Or repaired projects. Gathered herbs in the wild. Hunted small game. Sold products at the market. I think I'm going to go with Hunted Small Game. As a youngster growing up in Calradia, war was never too far away. I trained with the Hearth Guard. Rode, stood guard of the garrison. Rode with the scouts. Trained with the infantry. Joined the Kern. Or marsh with the camp followers. I'm going to go with road with the scouts. Before you set out for a life of adventure, my biggest achievement was I defeated an enemy in battle. So this also gives uh, some valor and renown. Um, I saved my village from a flood. Invested some land in... Uh, in I invested some money in land. Uh, hunted a dangerous animal, had a famous es escapade in town, or I treated people well. I'm going to go with invested some money in land. That'll get me some uh, smithing, trade, and more intelligence. I think these are the main ones I'm going to go with. Social, intelligence, endurance, and control. Focusing on bow. Riding, maybe a little bit of athletics, smithing, uh, do trade, and steward, and charm are those going to be the main ones. Well, actually, really all three of these, honestly. Story background. Like, like many families in Calradia, my life was upended by war. My home was ravaged by the passage of an army. Eventually, I sold my property and set off with my... Father, mother, brother, and my two younger siblings to a town I heard was safer. But it didn't make it. Along the way, the inn at which we were staying was attacked by raiders. My parents were slain and my two youngest siblings seized. You and you, your brother survived because I subdued a raider. I uh, drove them off with arrows. Rode off on a fast horse. Tricked the raiders. Organized travelers break out. I think I'm going to go with organize the travelers to break out. Get that charm, uh, leadership, and social up a bit more. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Alright, my name is... Beal. Difficulty settings. Okay, so what I think we're gonna do is go with the warrior. It's a little bit easier than the realistic, but realistic is something that I I've done in the past and I can do it. I just find it a bit more frustrating and I'll I just wanna have fun. So I'm gonna go with warrior, make things a little bit easier, but not as easy as uh, the freebooter. So we'll do that. And let's go ahead and start the game. Brother, it's been three days now we've been tracking those bastards. I think we're getting close. We need to think about what happens when we catch them. How are we going to rescue our brother and sister? Are we up for a fight? This looks like an old training field for the legions. Perhaps we can spare some time and brush up on our skills. The practice could come in handy when we catch up with the raiders. I'm not going to go ahead and do this uh, tutorial. I've done it. Uh, I know how to play the game. 
Uh, so I'm not too worried about it. So let's go ahead and skip the tutorial. Are you sure about that? Yes. Time of us of the essence. All right, then. Let us split up and look for the little one separately. One of a thing, brother. We want people to take us seriously. We may be leading men into battle soon. Let's give our family a name and a banner, like the nobles do. All right. So, after a few hours, I leave the training ground. Or a few hours after I leave the training ground, I come across a wounded man lying under a tree. You share your water with him and try to dress his wounds as best you can. He tells you he is a traveling doctor. You to thank you for your help, he hands you a small bronze artifact, which he says was once given to him in payment by a warrior. Said only that I was ready, related to uh, Neritz's folly. He suspects it might be of great value. He resolved to find out more. On the first day of summer, 1084, I found the artifact which Tactios mentioned. Alright. My name will be... My family name will be the Kamai. Alright, so gotta do my banner. One thing that I'm not a fan of this game about is the very limited banner options. I think I'm gonna go with this lion here. Make it a bit bigger. Yeah, that'll be good. Good enough. Alright, so let's get into it. Okay, right, so... What I think I'm gonna do... Head down here. And start working on earning some money. Actually, before I do that... I leveled up. So, I get... I can do some charm. I go a self promoter here. Get the uh, benefit when uh, winning a tournament. And for this, I'm gonna for my uh, skill. I'm gonna put it into stewardship. So I'm gonna be my party steward. Then I'll have someone for a doctor, a engineer, and scout. But I'll be the, the steward. I want to get that up as much as I can. So let's make some money. Why don't we? So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to buy a bunch of sheep and hogs. going to butcher them and sell back the leather and... Eight. Alright, so let's sell those. Leave town. Oh, that. I want to butcher all of these. Get 22 hides and 44 meat. And let's sell all of this back. And I've gained about a thousand gold by doing this. And go ahead and buy more of these and do it again. So butcher all the hogs, all the sheep. And sell all back and right there I've gained start out with a thousand gold and I now have three thousand two hundred and seventy right off the bat boom done instantly another thing I might do typically do this is sell my armor the way I'm gonna fight at first I don't need it what I do want is another bag of arrows. Uh, let's go with the range arrows. 
So now I'm going to head over here and try to do the same thing. See if I can buy some more animals and butcher them and sell them like I did last time. Uh, nope, not here. Okay. In that case, it is time to see what I need to do. <laughs> I need to investigate Mirit's folly by talking to ten nobles. I need to establish my clan. I already have the money that I need. I need to have a large party. I need to have some renown and hire a companion. Alright, so I'm going to do all that eventually. But for now, let's try and make some more money. Let's I can fight these looters. Oi, what have we here? There's a tax for passage in these parts, Traveler. Paid either in coin or in blood. Alright, fight me if you dare. Alright, so the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to stay on horseback and try to shoot these guys when they get close. Man, this is painful. Where are you getting them? Where are you getting me? Oh. Come on. You all are terrible. Of course, I am terrible as well. Oh. I mean, low skills is rough. <laughs> But I will get them eventually. Got one of them. Alright, let's keep whittling them down. One down, 11 to go. Ooh, gotcha. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That one very nearly hit me. I hate these rock throwers. Oh. I was trying to shoot the guy that was in the lead in the head, but uh, yeah. Didn't hit him, it hit some guy behind him. <laughs> oh, where'd that go? Come on. Frustrating how every time they hit me, it resets my bow. Come on. These guys have so much better aim than I do. Like there, what the heck? Come on. Kill some more of them. My riding skill is going up, and that's good. It'd be nice if my bow skill was, would go up as well. Alright, there's another one dead. My bow skill is going up. I saw that it was at, 20, at 26 now. Oh, come on. What a terrible shot.
Come on this way. Oh, come on. I gotta be running low on stones by now. Alright, I'm running low on arrows. Come on, tear your limbs. They'll tear my limbs. Okay. There's another one down. Nine more to go. And they still have stones. Alright, another one bites the dust. Another one down. Gotta pick my shots a little bit more carefully now. Starting to run lowish on arrows. That's taken like three shots per person. Another one. Six more. Halfway. Okay. Not the next one. He's down. And. Oh. Not the one I wanted to hit, but I hit one. I'm glad. I wasn't sure if I would <laughs> there for a second. Five more and I only have 13 arrows. Alright, there's another hit. Another hit. Close, getting close to being out of arrows. Getting a headshot or two would be nice if I could manage that. Three more. I want to get rid of that guy with the pitchfork, really. Got rid of that one. Alright, now I've pretty much got it. And boom, done. Oof. That was a tough fight. <laughs> Only three arrows left. I killed all twelve of them, and I gained. 34, or gained 14 in bow and 16 in riding. Very nice, very nice. Gained some renown and some morale. Got some armor. Ooh, and some grapes. I could put that armor on, but I don't know. We'll see. I might just sell it. So let's get some skills. So, bow control. Dead aim. I think I'm going to go with the dead aim. Mainly for the bow, plus 20% bow skill. My troop formation. Yeah. And for riding, I want nimble steed. Right, and skills. Um, Let's go with another one in steward. 
And I want to get up at least to 275 in smithing. I want to get up to 300 in trade. At least 250 or 275 here in steward. And pretty much as high as I can in these. I definitely want to get up to minimum 225 in bow. Uh, let's go with smithy. I think because I want to. I want to do some smithing. There's a guy I can talk to. Forgive me what may seem to be an abundance of caution, but please keep your distance. Just beyond sword length is fine. So, who might you be? I am Kong Veal, and who are you? I am Garius, rightful emperor of the Calradians. I am lord of Zianica and Jalmaris. Always well, looking for good fighters. If you ask about me, I suspect you'll be told that I take good care of my men. Eh, I don't care about that. What I want to know is what's Meritz's folly? Well, that's what some people call the Great Battle of Pendraic in the year 1077. Emperor Neritz uh, led an emperor accompanied by the Kuzites and Aserai to fight a coalition of Sturgeons, Batanians, and Valandian. It was a disaster hit for him. He died in it. But the victors didn't fare much better. I see. Is there anything else? Uh, can you tell me anything about the Battle of Pendraic? Yes. We never fought. We will never forget that day. Today we learned that the old men who claimed that they had the right to rule us were doddering incompetence. How is it with the vanguard? Nerzes apparently knew that the Patanians had planned an ambush. Zite scouts had told him. They never bothered to inform us. So up we went along a lovely wooded stream until the Batanian arrows started mooshing in from all sides. We had our shields, but you can only point them in one direction at once. So we started to drop, one by one, until the Batanian Falksmen came screaming out of the trees. Ordinarily, they'd be very vulnerable to archers, but, well, old Neritzes hadn't thought to send any along with us, so they came upon us chopping and slashing until we fought, and we fought until we broke. I ran too, and any man who tells you he wouldn't in those circumstances is a liar. When I was sitting in the cold woods later that night, hiding with other fugitives, listening to the Batanians whoop and holler as they chopped off heads as trophies, I promised them that no Calradian soldier should again be led into battle by an emperor who knows so little of war. Thank you. Anything else? Eh, no, I'm good. Or well, if no one slits your throat out, out there, perhaps we shall meet again. Okay, so let's head on to Jalmyris. And the if there are any animals. Nope. Alright. So let's leave. Head up to Rote. Partly, I just want to enter these so I can get to know people. That's part of what I'm doing. Uh, cows don't think are worth it to uh, buy and butcher and sell. I'm not going to do that. I want to head up towards Thanon and, and these up here. Get some wood. No, I need to fight some guys first get some weapons to sell or to to smelt no oh, I don't want to fight mountain bandits those guys are brutal they have shields looters that's what I want Come here, looters.
Alright, um... Good thing these these guys don't have good aim. <laughs> oh, come on. As soon as I say that they hit me like four times in a row while I'm riding horse. Come on. I got one. Come on, hit him. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die because I can't freaking hit these jerks. Well, I got one. And a third of the loot. Prisoner? No. Yes, I don't care. I do want all that. I do have some weapons. Not much. That to Legata and sell some of this stuff because I'm overburdened. Oh, all, right. all this armor. I'm going to sell this butter. And rain as well because I don't need it. So I think I might have to do is recruit some guys. Don't want to do that yet, but I think I need to. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, come back in two weeks for the next episode, and be sure to check out some of the other playthroughs I have on my channel. I also have a Discord. Uh, you can find the link to that in the description, so uh, stop by and, and say hi. But until then, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, however much of it is left, and I will catch you all next time. Take care, everyone. Bye.